everybody. It's Dorothy Kilty back again from Raccoonelli Creations. And thanks so much for visiting my channel. Um, I am a guest design team member on Facebook for Line.Arrow. Natalie has sent us this gorgeous sign sealed and delivered kit and add-on kit. This is August, 2024. So um, there's all kinds of wonderful pages and things to work with. I worked on my cover in the last video. I have my signatures in place, but not sewn in because I <clears throat> want to be able to decorate them as I go. Now, this particular um, pocket was inspired by somebody. Let me see what his name is. Linda's Paper Works. Uh, Linda's Paper Works. So I'll put a link to her video below for you can, so you can see that. That's what I'm doing is not identical to what she did, but it's definitely inspired by it. So what we're doing is you start out with a, just a, um, a security envelope, okay? Um, with a window, a window envelope. <clears throat> and you figure out how large you want your uh, fold up to be. So. This can go, the one I'm doing now is going to be from the bottom. The one I did in a video for another challenge uh, came over the top. <clears throat> it can be done in such a way that it comes in just from, no, it has to be the top or bottom for this. Okay. <clears throat> so once you find your envelope and you figure out where you want to make it, you fold the envelope up this way. And, um, and then you're going to make a cut in this envelope where you've made that fold. You're going to cut straight across there like this, okay? Now, if I did it this way, I could put, I could open this top and I could put, um, <clears throat> I didn't have to cut this. I could have just folded it up. Duh. Okay. You could open the top and you could have two little corner pockets or two straight across pockets on the back of this this one i want to go up from the bottom so it's going to go up um, from the bottom like this and um so i'm going to seal this here so that this is the corner and then um You've got the pockets here. And I'm going to go ahead and make those cuts. So, um, I get confused over what I planned to do and what I didn't plan to do. So, now you could make a pocket here like this and then fold this one down let's start with this one and fold this one and then this one can come down um, a little ways away from it so once we make the folds and get them the way you like them we can um either fold them both back i'm gonna leave this one folded down because I'm going to cover this uh, so that it's prettier with seam, and that will glue it down as well. And then um, this will look prettier. Okay, now what I did is I um, started, I took a piece of paper and I glued it here and I wrapped it around to here so that this edge has a finish. And I'll also be wrapping one around here so that reinforces the uh, edges where the pocket is going to be, okay? Um, oh, I see what I'm doing. I was folding up like this to make it. Um, and then this is going to fold down here um, to finish off. No, this is going to fold over here. And that encloses that side of the pocket right here. Go ahead and do that before I... Probably lose my mind. Okay. Let 
Now, when you're covering this up, in in the other video that I made, which I'll put a link to before, I showed another means of doing it where you, an easy way to cut out these squares exactly, but you also can use water, um, use washi tape or just pieces of paper cut to do the same thing. So if I take for example, this is one of Natalie's pockets, but if, if I use, if I, fold, if I fold this edge right here, along here, this is going to fit the length of this, this pocket to finish this edge. So then I just need to figure out how much of this I need to tear off. And I want to go over this uh, blue part here a little bit. So I'm going to tear off that much. And I'm just going to tear it using this ruler. Okay. And I'll be gluing this on both sides. Reinforcing the top. And also... Um, Uh, covering up some of the white places on the envelope. Okay, so let's Okay, um, this is going to go over the page like this. Okay, not this page. This is just I'm just showing you. And so this on the back is also going to be a tuck spot with these pockets on top of it. Okay. So we're just um, maintaining um, maintaining this by itself. And so I also want to reinforce this bottom edge. So we'll do that in just a minute too. I really have to apologize. Um, I have asthma and we've been having a lot of smoke and that has um, affected my voice, among other things. So, um, let's go. Okay, put this up here, put this down here, and then we wanted to cover that up. So now we have um, a few more places to follow. And we can just collage right over this envelope. Um, for example, right here, actually, this fits. This is just a scrap of paper, and it does fit. So I think I'm going to use that here and to reinforce the edge. Let's put this down a little bit. I'm setting an alarm for myself. I decided that I need to, to make sure that my videos um, stay shorter. Because oftentimes I'll finish a video and it's like, oh my gosh, look how long this is. And every time I try editing, uh, except for the simplest of things, it gets messed up. I run out of memory or I... Um, um, Suddenly it just doesn't save properly, and then all my work is wasted. So I tried downloading a new software, and that's just as bad as everything else was. So I left it alone. So I have a whole bunch of little pieces here that I can use uh, to, um, to decorate some of this. I should have something... What? I'd like to have a piece of scrap paper here. Um, I have some paper right up here in front of me. I did not get too big a piece. Well, I'm going to take the words that go on the back. 
Um, now I want a piece to go down the center here. Okay, and so that needs to be, yeah, go on this side a little bit and then also on this side. So it needs to be about, so I'm trying to more or less fold on the lines. It's a little bit crooked. Let's just do this. Okay. And now let's tear this off. I like better. Oh, that's just fine. I'm going to take it all the way to the top here like this. And not take it all the way to the bottom. So, there. Um, now I have some cute little things. This whole um, kit is like postal or letters or cards or something like that and it is so such a beautiful kit I love it and I've also always loved writing letters and sending cards and stuff although I don't do it as often as I should even so I'm just gonna rotate this a little bit okay. and then Put that right here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to Now, I don't know how you are, but I pretty much don't trust the glue and washi tape. I happen to know that this one is relatively new, um, which is a good thing, but a lot of times the glue just doesn't stick as well as I think it should. So I like to reinforce the glue. Um, a lot of times I'll just use a glue stick so I can just take this and just rub it right across the top here like this okay. and then let's put this okay. and then i think i'm going to put this mailbox right on top of this i'm wondering if i And once I get the other side finished, I'll come back and see if I think I need to add any more things like this. I may, but that is now ready to go over the page. Okay, now we have this, and this is going to fold up like this and this. So we need to cover um, this here, and so this part all on here, and this here. Now I could take part of this off to remove some of the bulk okay and then we're just going to go ahead and glue this down here and we'll glue this down here so now we have our two pockets ready so once um once we cover this i'll glue this Move this bottom part down as well. Now, what would we like to put over this? So, um, I think just this, I'm going to cut this out. Next card. This um, folded over makes a really cute, um, something to put in a pocket or, you know, journaling spot. The two sides could be folded together and glued, 
or you can use them separately like I'm doing all kinds of ways of doing this and of course if you don't have this kit a regular index card would work just fine so I'm going to do this this doesn't have to go let's see how far it has to go nope it doesn't have to go all the way down this is fine so I can take this I'm gonna this and then I'll put glue on the bottom of this to stay down well. Now I can just go ahead and fold this over just like that or I can trim it. Um, Sorry to lose those, um, that raggedy edge there, but okay, so there, we've got one, now we've got to cover this one, and for this one, if we use this, I think that'll be pretty. So in this case, I'm going to wrap this around the bottom to a little bit, I hope. Okay, I'm going to wrap um, I'm going to wrap this around the bottom. So let's start as high as we need to go here. And again, we're going to Put the glue on this page. It folds down. Okay. And all the way up to the top corner and then straightening it here. Okay. And inside and cut this to shape. That's okay, I can do it from this side. Okay, now we'll take that other piece I had. You know, the one I had all ready to go. You know which one I'm talking about. The one I apparently lost. Wash the tape across the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to start by putting this trying to keep it straight, okay, and then I'm going to go up here like this, okay, so there, we've sealed that edge, it looks pretty, we have um, three pockets ready to go. It's ready to go in our tuck spot. Now I'm going to just glue this side of the envelope. I'm going to glue right at this side and put it there. And that's going to hold it in place. So now this is a tuck spot because it's closed in on two sides. This is a tuck spot over the page. And we have this. All we have to do is maybe add a tiny bit more of 
vibration. As you can see, I'm just overlapping um, the corners and stuff a little bit. So when I make the card that fits in there, um, the design will still show, but um, it has kind of fun things on it. One of the things I could do down here is put a little bit of lace down there if I wanted to. It can sound. Okay, now this is going to go over the page, and um, so we'll need a something to slide in here. This is a this is a six by four inch card, and the way I made this. This should go in pretty well, okay? Um, when I put this on my page, I'll attach the bottom of this with washi tape. And that means I'm going to have this whole side to go. However, I could also just trim this off a little bit to make it fit. Now, I like to have the lines on the back because that's instant journaling space. I'm going to start this by just inking the edges of the page. And I want to have an idea. I'm going to ink this part too. I want to have an idea what is going to show through those two windows. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. And take a look where I'm at. Okay. Um, so, out this space here. So, if I do a collage or whatever I do on here, I want to make sure that I have something interesting in that space. Now, if I take this card, nope, I don't like that, so I'm not going to do that. Let's find another uh something else okay now look at one of the look at this tag if i take this and put it on the center of the card that's gonna be um right up here so this will be kind of visible so that's one possibility now i almost think I took too many things and made them into actual pages in my book. I'm making three signatures in the book and I added um, about 12 double-sided pages from the um, kit which I did put in the last video. Um, and once again, I'll have a link to Natalie's videos on this. Just going to cut this across and cut this down. This is going to be centered on the page. And then we need something fun to put around the edges of this. So, this is a pad that I got with all kinds of fun different pages and a lot of these is letter writing and, and um, things that you know work really well with this. I'm looking to see if I have a lighter one or if I've already used them all. This is pretty. Okay. So, um, 
other than doing this um, and covering most of it up with this, I'm going to use strips of this and um, put them on the side, on the top and the bottom, and use that to you know, kind of frame that other set of these. don't need to be all the way to the edges because I have inked the edges of this so I can take it you know, and this one over here this side, they come almost all the way to the bottom of this page up there and then when I put this over it you know, I think that makes a pretty card all by itself. So go ahead and I'm going to take the Fabri-Tac and go right around the edges of this one. And the reason I'm doing that is because it strengthens the very edge of the paper, so it's less likely to have any problems um, with peeling off and things over time. So we'll go ahead and put that up here. Okay. And now when this is glued onto the page and we have the pocket, we have something kind of pretty taken through. So um, I, I like it. Okay. We also need um, things to put in the pockets back here so um i'm going to go ahead and use one of these sometimes it's easier to make the cut after you fold it glue it and then you don't have to go around the edges again you can kind of see through here to the other side where that one edge that i left on there is so um that's pretty good okay i'll cut this edge off Ink these edges in case there's any place that I didn't cut good. And now that can go right in this pocket here. And then we just need one more something for this. Um, okay, we'll take this. We will, what the, that other piece of bluish one is, I um, was, when I was printing out, I was running out of ink. And so it was going from this pretty turquoise to pinkish, but I think it's kind of pretty. So um, I think it'll be a good backing to this. This is still um, a perfectly good place to um, journal on. And so there we have our pocket. So hope you're enjoying what I'm doing with Natalie's kits. Um, I'm having a good time. And uh, this will go into the journal. We'll take one of these pages. And this will go around the page like this. Okay. And then this can tuck in underneath here. I can attach this page with um, washi tape or just leave it as a tuck spot, however I want to do it. And then this page is a tuck spot. So just like that, it can be glued down or it can be uh, moved through the journal.
Okay, well, once again, I want to thank you so much for watching my video. I want to thank Natalie for um, letting me be a guest design team member for, the, for August. And this is a gorgeous kit. Even if you just get the one kit, um, which has doesn't have too many um, full page pages, but it has gorgeous ephemera to using your collaging and your other things. Okay, thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.